Hi guys, it's me Melanie, Melanie Sure. Proverbs 22, 6 of the Holy Bible states, Train up a child in the way he should go, and when he is old, he will not depart from it. How easy that is to say that if we lay down, if we as parents lay down a good and strong foundation for our children, a spiritual foundation, that we they will not depart from it. It makes it sound like, okay, it's just a natural thing that they will go on to be believers and um, everything will be great. But, you know, life doesn't always happen that way. And I'm making this video for those parents who, like myself, have some strong feelings about this. Um, I myself have two adult children and I believe I did my best. I, not, I, not I just believe, I know I did my best. Now, my best might not be your best or God's best, but it was my best. I did my best as a parent when my children were uh, little to build up a strong fo spiritual foundation for them. Um, some examples were we always read little Bible stories I tried to, every night, we said our prayers, We I would read a children's Bible story, we would discuss what it meant. Every night we did this. Um, I would also sing them little songs, and, um, and then when they drifted off to sleep, I would put on um, Bible verses for them too, to help them, I figured, you know, like subliminal messages while they're sleeping if they would drift off to Bible verses. Now, of course, I would also intersperse throughout that some children's stories like, you know, Humpty Dumpty, Goldilocks, and the Three Bears. But um, there was definitely a strong biblical presence in their, in their life. And I did always try to teach them when things would come up um, in life. I would teach them, try to teach them lessons, you know, more on morality and um, like the importance of not lying, like see how a lie can hurt, things like that. Um, I tried my best to love my children. Didn't have to try, it was just natural. It was just there. Um, but to also love them enough to sacrifice for them. Um, being a parent means sacrificing. I don't care what anybody says, it requires, it's mandatory, sacrificing. We have to put um, our children first because they are young and vulnerable and easily impressionable and they don't have the wisdom or knowledge or understanding that we as adults do so we have to um, often sacrifice for them I mean look at when a child is uh, a baby is small we sacrifice our sleep to take care of the child you know we sacrifice when our child's of school age to get up in the morning when we might want to sleep in to make them breakfast and everything and to get them off to school and to sacrifice in the evening when we're exhausted after cooking dinner and we just want to sleep on the couch while we're watching TV um, to say, hey, come on, it's bath time. Let's go upstairs now and get you washed up and ready for bed. I mean, you know, we, we as parents um, sacrifice a lot. And so, like I said, this message is for the parents who feel guilty like they somehow screwed up or did something wrong or somehow had there was some sort of deficit there why their adult child it just the faith did just not take root in their hearts now that they're adults um, it's just not as present in their life as they would hope they would have hoped or they would like and you have to realize that even though we lay a strong foundation, there's a lot of temptations and pressures from the world and their friends and just the way modern society operates now. And um, they are fighting against that. There's a lot more pressures coming in, you know, constantly bombarding them, these sexual images, these violent images, these anti-God messages and godless messages constantly boom ba boom ba boom pummeling their brains constantly and here we are as one 
or two parents, mother and father, and if you have the help of grandparents, okay. So that's like four people against a multitude of, you know, just, you know, let's just say the two parents trying to do their best teaching, you know, the good, the good messages, you know, uh, teaching about God into their head, trying to teach morality. Well, here's, you know, the multitude, these Hollywood messages in the movies they're seeing and all that saying this is okay and that's okay you're saying it's not okay and they're saying it is okay and it's very confusing this is a very difficult time um in our world uh it's a very sinful time and you know just our morality that's why it's sinful because our morality has taken a nosedive um because we think this is the way our children think. This is the way life is supposed to be. Oh, okay, this is the way it's supposed to be. But that isn't, because God's word is unchangeable. He still expects what he expects. Look at the Ten Commandments. This is what he expects. He, ex still, he still expects us to worship him and to embrace uh, Jesus Christ into our heart and into our lives. That hasn't changed. And so there's a lot of pressure coming in from society to our children. So when they get older and they are adults in their own right, and we can no longer control them. They're no longer toddlers who we can hold anymore. They're, in most cases, they're bigger than us and stronger than us. And, uh, you know, we cannot control them. We can only control them when they're little children. And then once they, you know, move out on their own or of, of a certain age, a legal age, to where they're adults in their own right, the decision is theirs. The choice is theirs. The mistakes they make are theirs. So you need to let go of that guilt. If you know that you have done your best to provide a strong, moral, biblical, godly foundation, you have did your best to teach those, to teach those morals and just, you know, keep... To, to nurture a relationship so your child can have a relationship with God and Jesus Christ. If you did your best, um, then let it go. Continue to pray for your adult child every day that they will see truth. Always pray that they will see truth for what it is so they don't get disillusioned by these messages coming in from society and that they will remember one day remember the messages mom and dad uh, tried to pour into their head and heart and one day it will take root because God's Word promises that now of course we don't want to wait until they are older and on their deathbed and realize you know what I should have accepted you know, God and Jesus Christ in my life long ago. I should have, you know, shouldn't have done this and shouldn't have done that, and I got regrets and all. That. We don't, we don't want our child to go through that. No parent wants their child to go through hard times. If you love your child, you want what's best for them, and so of course we want them to stay on a healthy path, a straight path, God's path, you know. But we can't control them. They are adults, so. All we can do is continue to pray daily for our adult age children and let go of any um, feelings that you're blaming yourself, any self-blame. Because if you did your best, there's no reason, because God knows you did your best. If you know you did your best, God knows you did your best. And if it's your child who is basically, I hate to use the word to blame, but it's their responsibility they need to take responsibility for their own lives they they have uh, if they're old enough to choose to smoke on their own or to drink on their own or to get into bad relationships on their own or to choose which jobs to work at or which juice jobs to uh, leave um, if they can make all these decisions in their lives and they can pay their car insurance and do this and that then by golly they're old enough to choose to have a relationship with God or not and so it has nothing to do with you, parent. Um, like I said, if you laid that spiritual foundation down as a child, you did your best, then, then it's on them, not on you. It's okay to feel disappointed. Uh, it's okay to feel saddened. Um, it's okay to continue to hope for and to pray for. 
but don't put that blame, that heavy yoke, um, on your own shoulders, okay? Because that'll only weigh down your spiritual walk, and it's Satan who wants to accuse you, say, see, see, you did wrong, you know, it's all your fault. No, it's the adult child's fault. They're adults, okay? They're grown-ass adults. It's on them, not on you. As I said, continue to pray for that they will um, turn back to God, that they will um, see truth for what it is, uh, ask God to continue to protect them because of your prayers for them, um, and leave it in God's hands, but always pray for them. So let go of that blame and that guilt if you've done your best. I hope this message gives you at least a little bit of comfort. Um, I have one child who it took root in, and the other child, I'm not so sure. I honestly don't know because um, the other child doesn't really want to talk about it too much. So I kind of got to let it go, you know, um, and just trust God. Um, and one day maybe that child will want to talk about it, and, and I'm there. And that's all we as parents can, can do is continue to love, continue to pray for. Um, and that's it. Alright guys, have a great day. Peace out.